Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a very happy birthday to Akesh Dulani's wife. And uh, that's who this puzzle is a tribute to. So we'll get to that in a moment. Of course, there are our, um, our hunts on Patreon channel. The 17th is, uh, sorry, that's now, but three days time is the closing date for the jovial Sudoku extravaganza, something for everyone. And then at the end of the month, we will also close the um, the free murder mystery, the cracking the case of the Roman tragedy by um, Alice Snowfeet McGee, etc. So those are the closing dates for the great stuff on Patreon. Where it's also, of course, a crossword video at the moment. Uh, do check it all out. And our apps, if you want to check them out, are in the link under the video now. As to this puzzle, do be aware that you can play it without colors. You can go to hide colors in the settings um, using the cogwheel and switch them on or off. But I'm probably going to do it with the colors because the colors spell out HBD, which I believe is either happy birthday or happy birthday D, which could be um, either Akash's wife's first name, or Mrs. Dulani, I suppose. Um, and I could pretend that I don't know what date, because he didn't mention it in his message, is her birthday. But I think it's fairly clear from um, the numbers in both the killer cages and the little killer clues. So how do these clues work? Well, we've got killer cages, which show their sums. We've got little killer clues outside the grid, which show the sum of the diagonal. That can include repeated numbers, whereas the ones in the cages can't, although I don't think there are any cages that by normal Sudoku rules, which also apply, could contain any repeated digits. So don't worry about that. But that's all we get, a few cages and a few little killer clues. And do give it a try on the link under the video. You can judge from the video length how hard this is. I have no idea. It was just sent in to Simon and he's forwarded it on for me to do. So give it a go if you wish. I'm going to try now. Let's get cracking. Um, and we've got some two cell 17 cages, which are always known candidates, nine and eight. Ah, and we've got two seven, like this 17 cage is in the same box as the nine and eight. And one thing I remember from that incredibly memorable Japanese sums puzzles I did where the only clues were 17s, is that once 9 and 8 are impossible, and it applies in column 6 as well, a three-digit 17 is 764. Um, so this 7 clue is a 124, and suddenly we've got a number in the grid. Um, 3 and 5 for the rest of the box, I suppose. Now, this 7 cage must be 5 and 2, because it can no longer be 6 and 1 or 4 and 3. They're the three possibilities. This one, the same, yeah. And therefore, one and three to fill the column. Now, do we know about this 17 cage? I think we do. Now, there, there's two ways of getting at that. It can't have both a nine and eight in it, because that would already add up to 17. If it... I think it must have one, because otherwise the highest numbers are 5, 3, and 2. So that's nonsense. So it's got one of 9 or 8 in. Now, if it had an 8, in fact, there is no way of filling it with two other cells that add up to 9, because you can't use 8, 1, or 7, 2, or 6, 3, or 5, 4. So it must be 9, 5, 3, I believe. That is the only way to do it. Now, the simpler way of doing that is to use the rule of 45. 45, let me tell you a secret, is the number that represents the total of the digits 1 to 9, so the sum of every row, column, and box. Now, if you take those two cages off 45, you learn that these three add up to 11, and it might be a bit quicker to work out that without using 7, 6, and 4, they have to be 1, 2, and 8, but I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, this can't be a 4, that can't be an 8, this can't be a 9. Um, this now can't be 3, 4, or 5, 2, so it's 6, 1. Oh look, we've got a horrible deadly pattern there that is going to get resolved by 
the little killer clue at some point. Um, that has become a three, another big digit in the grid. That's a one. So this is either two, five, or three, four. Ah, oh, but this adds up to 17. So that is eight, seven, two to make 17. So we know now that's a four with a three there. They can't be an eight, so eight goes there. Five and six, and the central strut of the central box is four, seven, nine. Now, what else can we do? This can't be four. These are quite an odd combination. I'm almost tempted to say by uniqueness, they must all be the three different fills, but that is not necessarily right. Oh, look at this one though. Actually, that can't be two and five because of this cell, say, it would kill that. And it can't be one and six because it would kill that cell. So that is a three, four pair. Here, we can't have a four, three pair. So it's either one, six or two, five. Here, I don't know, really. I could speculate, but that would not be sensible. Um, little killer clues then, maybe. Time to look at them. Right, these two sevens end in two, five or six, because they've obviously got to use numbers below seven, and those cells see one, three and four. So they begin with two, five, or one. And look, we've got a two, five pair looking at that. So we know that's one and six. Over here, we must have a two, five pair in some order. Um, these two must come from seven, eight, and nine because they see one, three, four, six, and a two, five pair in their box. Oh, this is eight or nine as well. So we have a triple. We can put in a two or five there. This six. Oh, this is a naked single nine, I think. Two, four, five, six, seven, and one in the column. Three and eight in the row. That is indeed. So that fixes that as an eight. We reduce to a seven, nine pair in box nine. One of those is on the 17 diagonal. I'll come back there in a minute, but I can get that three first. One of these must be a three, and look, that forms an X-wing with a three there. So that uses up the threes for columns seven and eight, and there must be a three somewhere at the top of column nine. Now, what about this 17 diagonal? If this is a nine, these add up to eight. They can't be two, six, or five, three, so there would be one, seven, and that can't be a 917 diagonal because that cell couldn't be filled. So that's not a 9, that is a 7. These add up to 10, they're not 28 or 73. So that's not a 3. 3 can go in there. They're either 4, 6, they're not 1, 9 because we've just placed the 9. That is a 4, 6 pair. So this is a 1, 8 pair. That's all that's left in the box. That fixes 9 and 8. Um, that 2-5 pair is not resolved yet. 9-1-8-3. Oh, okay, it's not finished at all. Those are the remaining cells. Let's have a look at... This one doesn't look very helpful yet. I haven't got much going on there. So let's have a look at the 5 cell, 17 diagonal. 9-8-3-6. That is... 1, 4, or 7. It can see 3, 8, and 9 in the row, 6 in the column, and a 2, 5 pair in the box. Now, let's have a look at these. I think, I was going to say the minimum's more interesting than the maximum, but maybe not. 3, 5, 7, 8, 10 as a minimum. 21, 24, 29 as a maximum. Hmm. The only thing about the minimum is that if any of these cells is not a minimum, it's at least two, uh, maybe two bigger than that. Okay, maybe it's not that helpful. So, what on earth am I meant to look at this? Oh, I don't know. Um, Right, let's look at the middle row. We've got a 2, 5 pair, 3, 4. 
that's not a nine. I've just noticed that. Oh, hang on. Where does nine go in this row? That's rather pretty. Can't be there because of, sorry, can't be there because of the nine in that box. Can't be there because of that nine. None of those other colored cells can be. So nine is in the central cell, which doesn't get us much further. Um, ah, nine is looking at those three cells. So nine in this top box is in one of those two. Oh, look, sorry, that three has fixed the four three pair. That might help a little and doesn't. Do we know about this? Sorry, I was going to put nine in one of those two. Let's do that takes it out of that cell. Now we've got a three, five pair in the row, so that's not three. Um, three, five, I don't know. I doubt that this can be four, three because of uniqueness, but can I prove that? Yes, because three in the box is in one of those cells. I can prove that, right. One, two, five, or six there, so we get a quadruple. Um, nine, three. So this is four, seven, or eight. Um, I never mentioned that these cages are just there for decoration and to make the letters. I suppose that's fairly obvious. Um, now, how do we, how do we take this forward? Six or four there. If it's a four, then we've got a four, nine pair in here. Then three, seven, eight in the column. Mm, doesn't really do anything. This diagonal is just not restricted enough to be useful. This one is not being as helpful as I thought. Ah, if that's a two and that's a one, oh look, that takes away the options of the low numbers here. Now then this diagonal would be at a minimum 4, 8, 11. Oh, well it couldn't hit the number exactly, but with, with these two. But if you make those both twos, hang on, what's going to happen then? 3, 5, 7, then these two would have to add up to 10. And they can't. There's no combination there that works. So this cannot be a 2 and a 1. Is that, if that's the actual way to progress, that is fiendish. Brilliant. My goodness. Anyway, 1 there, 2 there. So that probably does very little to fix. Oh, hang on. It fixes that cage as a 2, 5. That makes this one a 1, 6. This does loads. That's just what I was saying, I'm sure. <laughs> or not. Um, no, that can't be a five because we've got the two five pair. So we are suddenly getting numbers in the grid. Five there, that fixes the three five pair. Now, oh yeah, that's resolved. Six and four, they're not resolved. Two, five, one, six, three. So there is a nine here. There's an eight in one of those three. This has become four or seven, which isn't that useful a combination. Right, what about the three, the five? The five is looking down to there. So we get a two at the bottom. That gives us the five two pair on this little killer clue. Uh, that five fixes the two five at the top. To scan all around the grid constantly. Now we get a two in one of those two cells. Five, ah, no, 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 no. Look, we've got a two, five pair that form an X-wing. So two can't be there and five can't be in those two. So in fact, I can fill in five and two. One, two, four, three, nine is in one of those two where it forms an X-wing up there. That is not an eight X-wing because that has three possibilities at the top. 
Um, that can't be two anymore. Ooh, what's happened to my diagonal then? That's helpful. Right, the minimum now is three, five, nine, ten, twelve. It's not, oh, this can't be a five. The minimum is 12. Any number that is not the minimum is going to increase the diagonal by 3. That one would go from 2 to 5. That one would go from 1 to 4. That would go from 4 to 7. But we only want to increase the number by 5. And the only way of doing that... Oh, look, sorry. That 2 has actually fixed this as a 7. I thought that was a brilliant deduction we had to make on the diagonal, but it was straightforward. Right, with that as 7, these have to be minimum on the rest of the diagonal. And I think that is going to get us most of the way home. The 2, 5 fixes that 2, 5 pair. Um, this is now not a 4. In fact, we've got the 4 in the row, so that fixes 6. Five, four, seven there, a nine, five pair, which we can fill in. That fixes eight, nine. We've got four and eight there straight in. That four fixes the seven, four pair. Seven and six in row six that weirdly are not completed. Um, ah, I haven't used this 17 clue yet. Is that the only one? I think it is. Right. Time to start looking at that. What can this be? Four, six, eight, or nine. And this one, ooh, just one or eight, I think. Oh, well, four, eight, four, four, one, eight looks possible. Maybe, but there, there must be other possibilities too. So I don't think we are resolved there yet. Let me. Um, I think we've just had a power cut here. Let's hope we can continue. Um, 529481, 6 or 7 there. 3 goes here. 54372, 1, 6, 9, and 8 still to resolve. 289543, that is 1 or 7. Oh, okay, this is not done. Maybe I've missed a clue somewhere. Uh, there's probably a cage that I've forgotten to. Total no? Okay, so it's going to come down to this diagonal, is it? Interesting. Okay, if that was a 6, then you would definitely have 4, 4, 1, 8. If that was a 4, it would go 6, um, this would have to be a 1. 7, then these two would have to add up to 10, which could work either way around. I must be missing something. Surely we've got enough done now. What is that? 6, 7, 8 or 9? Oh no, look, these two can't be 6s because we've got a 1, 6 pair. So 6 there is impossible. So if that was a 4, we'd have at least 6... 8 or 9, it would have to be 1, 1. If that was a 6, we'd have 4 here. Oh, that's getting very difficult to make this work in any way. Maybe there just isn't a combination with a 4 here. If you have a 4 there, say you had an 8 here, you'd need 5 more. Ah, oh, 4, 4, 1, 8. Or 6811. They're very different combinations that both work. Oh, I'm missing something, surely, then, somewhere. 542. Sorry, guys. Five, oh, that can't be a 4, because we've got a 4 there. Right. Now this has to be at least 8. That is changing things dramatically. So this can't be 8. Um, 8 and 6 there is far too much for that cell, so that's not a 6. So we do get 1, 1. Those two add up to 15, so they are 9 and 6. And that must finish us off. Wow. Okay, sorry, I was missing a very clear bit of Sudoku. It happens sometimes. Don't curse at me too hard. Um, that's not a 4. That's not a 9. There are 7, 8 pair. This 8, 1 is resolved. 
Um, yes, this six one cage is done. We get a seven here. <laughs> Still having trouble tracking this round the grid. We get a six there. That has become a seven. And then we have to finish off with a nine and an eight, I believe. And there we go. Nice puzzle, that. Um, certainly well worth wishing a happy birthday to Akash's wife and uh, very well done Akash in creating that tribute. Really good fun. Hope you had a go at it and uh, didn't get too stuck and didn't miss the effect of that four on this diagonal as I did for so long. Anyway, brilliant puzzle. Thank you very much for watching the channel. As always, do check out all of our um, Patreon content and our merchandise. Some of that's been selling lately again, which is great. And I uh, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.